Unfortunately, humans usually impact nature in a negative way. The natural world is very important to our survival, so how do we protect it? What can a single person do? Can you act locally to make a difference? Do we leave all decisions about nature to politicians? How do we measure where humans are having the most impact and what is the most important to protect? There are no easy answers to these questions, but there are several methods you can use to learn about how you and others around you are affecting the environment. One such method is your ecological footprint. Ecological footprint measures how much your actions affect the environment. Your decisions and actions have impacts on the ecosystem, just like your actual footprints do when you go for a nature walk. Ecological footprint takes into account all the goods and services you use. Then, the impact of obtaining, processing, transporting, purchasing, using, and disposing of these goods and services is calculated. Adding up all the value of these impacts equals your ecological footprint. Imagine you walk through an environmentally sensitive forest. You avoid stepping on anything important, disturbing as little as possible as you move. You leave footprints, but in the least harmful way. If you want to reduce your negative impact on the environment, respect and care for ecosystems is necessary. Ecological footprint gives an indication as to how much land your behaviors require. The amount of land is usually measured in hectares. A hectare is about the size of a football or soccer field. Check the link in this video description for an ecological footprint calculator. It will ask you a series of questions about where you live and how you live your life. Given the availability of resources on Earth, the average recommended ecological footprint should be no greater than 1.7 hectares per person. But when actual ecological footprints are calculated, the actual worldwide average is 2.2 hectares per person. This means humans are using more resources than Earth can produce. The highest footprint values are for citizens living in the Middle East. But the average citizen in Canada and the United States are about four times higher than the recommended value. We are using far more environmental resources than the Earth can provide. To reduce ecological footprints, we need to take a close look at our bad habits in the areas of water use, energy use, purchase of goods and services, waste disposal, and production of pollution. Many Canadians like to believe we respect nature, but our ecological footprints indicate otherwise. It goes without saying that all humans, and especially those in wasteful countries, need to reduce their ecological footprints.